This is the October update for the year in our garden series and spring of course is been underway for two months now and the garden has really come to life. The flowers are all out, the trees look fantastic with their new colour of light green of the fresh leaves that's on the deciduous trees especially and it's really a great time of the year everything's alive and you feel invigorated and energetic and want to get things done we will have a look at the flower garden and see what's happening there but before we do let's go and see what's happening in the veggie garden Here in the raised beds, everything's growing really fantastic. The English spinach has really taken off and we've been harvesting that now for probably around about three weeks. I usually find it's best to take a, a nice big harvest off of cutting the uh, largest leaves and then putting them in the crisper. That way they get used and it really bounces back. Of course it needs plenty of water to this time of the year to keep it going. The silver beet here I've thinned to single plants and they're really taking off the growth in just the last couple of days. It's been quite amazing because it's really started to give us some nice warm weather and I have been watering it because while we're getting a little bit of rain the amount is not enough really that it needs this time of the year. Down in this bed the lettuce has taken off and we've started harvesting those. They're a caused height lettuce and they were just planted from seed and they're going really nicely need to be harvested and used nice and quickly the broccoli will follow on i will need to probably cover this within the next month over here the carrots are a little bit too thick they were seed that a friend had given me and i planted them at the level that I would plant commercial seed and this seed was far more viable so I will probably need to come and thin those very shortly though that's not something I would normally do. Most of the other things here are doing fantastically. I did plant in the end some plants of zucchini. I shortcut it. I was going to plant seed but I shortcut and put the zucchini plants in and only in the last week are they starting to actually look like they are starting to move the first two or three weeks they were in shock really in moving outdoors the broad beans are not uh, looking happy today because they are finding it a little bit hot from the sun this morning hotter than they used to and so they're bowing their heads but they are growing really well coming into flower and this time of the year as they flower they will set beans straight away without any delay because the bees are flying now. We are still picking some asparagus but it does need a weed and it's getting overshadowed now as the rhubarb is really firing away with the warmer weather. You may recall from earlier updates that I planted some seed in here is green manure into this bed. It's pretty while looking at the moment it's the stage it needs to be cut down so how i'm going to do that excuse me samuel is simply to cut with the chipping hoe off the surface which it does very nicely because it's quite loose and i will come over with some weed mat if you make your garden beds the width of weed mat that it comes in which is usually around a 900 or 1200 width Dad, and match can that. I have a go? Oh you want to have a go? There you go, have a try. Then it's very easy to cover this type of thing and suppress the weeds so that of course the heat of the sun will kill them off and ensure that this goes down into the ground as worm food. Well done Samuel. Thank you. Scratching it down. Just cutting it. Doesn't seem hard, Dad. To it scratch isn't. it down. It's nice and soft. Okay. 
Of course, not all gardening is success. I planted some seeds in here, kale seeds, to actually replace the kale that I'm going to pull out or been pulling out in the bed next to it. And as soon as they came up, aphids came and basically killed them off. So you do get these failures. What I will do now is grow some kale seedlings in pots, get them going and get them well underway, putting them out, but probably not now until January or something like that, January, February, for the later season. So we will be without kale for a few months where we probably would have had them, but I think as the season has moved on, it's probably better now to wait till a little later. This bed that I've been taking the kale out of is looking really messy. It will be cleaned up and planted with the climbing beans within probably the next week or two. The strawberry beds are looking really great growing nicely and flowering. The bees are attending to the flowers so it won't be long and we'll be getting some strawberries. Probably, usually they start the beginning of December so that's only around a month away. Coming into the greenhouse, which is pretty hot today, we've got the straw bale tomatoes which are really growing nicely and getting underway. I've also planted some capsicum uh, and eggplant plants. Now they're just getting started. This type of temperature that's going on today will really make them jump. A lot of people can grow capsicum and eggplant out of doors but I find uh, more successful in the greenhouse where we live. Also the cucumber seeds are coming up and doing quite nicely. They'll really take off now. The broccoli that's in here, we have been harvesting heads from it. They're not as good a heads as you would get outdoors because of the, the heat that's coming that's actually moving the plants along so quickly. Now there has been a couple of jobs that have happened across the month. The first of them was that the blueberries, the children planted a year or so back, we're getting a little bit overgrown. So my wife cut a polythene barrel up and she was using, wanting to use part of it as a pot, but the top part cut up into some rings. And we put those around the blueberries and the children put some mushroom compost around it. So that'll make it much easier to keep them clean and they look a lot tidier. Another job that I did was to get onto the tamarillo tree which really needed some cleaning up. This tamarillo tree behind me has been under a frost cover for a number of years and it's been rather dilapidated so I've taken it off and underneath it's really quite tangled on top so it really needs a good prune. Now the fruiting here is basically just finishing at the point where it is starting to grow and getting ready to flower and set new fruit. So it's really difficult to pick this time and ultimately you just have to choose that there's a minimum fruit and a minimum amount of growth and you have to do it. And right now is the time. So before I get into it, I do have to get rid of this vine, which is a sylvan berry, which is jumped across from the berries next door underneath and I have to pull that out. Hence the gauntlet gloves because that's pretty prickly. But I'll get that out and then I'll be able to get into the tree and put some good shape back into it because it's really big under the cover become quite tangled and it needs to be opened up once it has been pruned of course I will need to give it a good feed and plenty of water it will need a cover again but that will probably not happen until autumn when I have more time to come back to it. Of course the most recent planting thing that I've done that you would have seen on video or potentially have seen 
was to plant some chickpeas. Now that's just a little over two weeks ago that I put these chickpeas in and if you look now they have germinated nicely. Uh, they're probably a couple of inches or we'll say one to two depending on the plant above the ground now. So they're off to a good start. We've been getting rain probably at least once a week though it's not a lot it's only around about 10 millimeters that we've been getting but it's been enough for these to get them germinated and underway. So hopefully all's going to go really well with these chickpeas. But we'll come back and visit them each month and see how they're going. So this early potato crop is really fantastic. It's doing great. It's got good cover now so that there's only one or two weeds showing through. I don't really have to do anything to it now other than water it. Harvest time is probably around about six weeks away. So that will give us some reasonably early potatoes. I have prepared the next patch. I've put the tiller through it and it broke up really nice having been underneath the plastic over winter. Uh, it was green manured and then the plastic over it. But I haven't yet planted those and that is something that I hopefully will get to do today. But the two most important jobs of the day today is to get out these tomato plants to get them planted and also some corn in the area behind this uh, sweet corn that is now I have run the tiller through this just a few days ago and prepared the beds this morning early I got up and put the trellis up so I've got a head start and I've put out my weeper hose which I have found is the best way of watering these tomatoes so that the water doesn't go on the leaves so it's direct to the roots and I put it out to in the sun so that it warms up and becomes more flexible because it's a lot easier to lay it out then so I'm going to get on and plant these shortly and prepare them I'm going to leave you with some film of the flower garden now this year it's looking really good and Elizabeth has a great collection of clematis that's coming out. It's a growing collection each year. She adds a few more. They look really fantastic, especially the really big flowered ones have a really major impact. So I'll leave you with that and we'll come back to you again next month. Mm -hmm.